The Lost Compass In a quaint seaside village, nestled between lush green hills and a glistening azure sea, there lived a curious young girl named Eliza. Eliza had an insatiable appetite for adventure, always yearning to explore the world beyond the village. One sunny morning, as she was rummaging through her attic, Eliza discovered an old dusty compass hidden away in a forgotten chest. The compass was ornate, with intricate engravings and a sense of mystery about it. Her grandmother, a wise and gentle woman, had once told her that this compass had a unique power. It could lead the way to one's heart's true desire. Excitement bubbled within Eliza as she held the compass in her hand, her heart a flutter with dreams of grand voyages. She envisioned far-off lands, hidden treasures, and the thrill of the unknown. With determination burning in her eyes, she set out on her quest, following the compass's needle wherever it pointed. For weeks, Eliza journeyed through dense forests, crossed perilous rivers, and climbed towering mountains, all guided by the mysterious compass. But despite her efforts, she found no hidden treasures, no distant lands, and no grand adventures. Instead, she found herself lonely and disheartened, with a heavy heart. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Eliza stumbled upon an old traveler who was resting by a campfire. She shared her story and her quest for adventure with him, tears glistening in her eyes. The traveler, a weathered man with a kind smile, listened patiently. He reached into his pocket and pulled out a simple yet profound realization. It was a tiny, unadorned compass, similar to Eliza's but much plainer. He handed it to her and said, Eliza, true adventure isn't about chasing the unknown, it's about finding the beauty and wonder in the world around you, wherever you are. Eliza's heart sank as she realized the truth in the traveler's words. She had been so focused on distant horizons that she had missed the beauty of her own village, the kindness of its people, and the joy of the simple moments. With newfound clarity, Eliza returned home. She explored her village with fresh eyes, made friends, and embraced the everyday wonders she had overlooked. In time, she realized that the moral of her journey was not about chasing distant desires, but about finding contentment and happiness where her heart truly belonged. And so, Eliza's greatest adventure became the journey of self-discovery, and her treasure was the newfound appreciation for the simple beauty that surrounded her.